Okay, doing a really quick video here over some of the new Lush stuff that I've got recently. Um, this is a couple visits and like an order, and I'm actually putting in an order soon since all of the Christmas Lush has released on the UK website, so I'm super excited about that. First Christmas Lush experience. This is the Pineapple Grunt Retro Soap, which kind of looks gross because it's been in my shower. Um, has like pieces of dried pineapple in it. I really like the smell of it, and it kind of feels scrubby without being rough scrubby, um, but it has a nice pineapple scent. really like that one. Oh, sorry, cats. This is the only available in North America, which I think is kind of sad, but it's the um, strawberry-scented massage bar. I love it. The only problem is that it's not very big, so it's not as big as my absolute favorite, which is the Mange 2. So, with the shampoo... I was using the Godiva, which has the like moisturizing and the shea butter in it. So once you start getting that bar down pretty thin, it starts to completely break apart because the moisturizing solids, the butters in it, can't stick together. And they won't dissolve nearly as fast as all the shampoo around it. And so it basically disintegrated and I was trying to use these tiny pieces to wash my hair and I thought this isn't worth it. This one has like seaweed and stuff in it, and I mean I like it. The smell is really really nice, um, but it still has junk in it, which I'm you know it's okay. It doesn't really bother me. The I don't think this one will fall apart like the other one, but I did want to get it to try it, and then I got um, the Ultimate Shine, and this one doesn't have anything in it except for the shampoo. Like there's no random junk stuck in it. And so far I'm really liking this one because it just it just goes on my hair really smooth and that's my cat digging in a scratching pad so if that's that crazy noise. I'm really liking this one because it doesn't have all the stuff in it but it doesn't smell as nice as the green one. It still smells okay but just not as nice. The Dream Wash, the shower smoothie, and has no parabens in it but it's very similar to the Aquamarina face wash that it has the calamine powder in it. And it does leave a coating feeling on your skin of the calamine powder after you're done showering. I like the layer that it has on it. So kind of those days where I feel like my skin has gone through quite a bit, then I like to use this and it gives me that nice soothing feeling. I did go back and get a, or well, I did order a jar. And I've been using it for quite a while now. Um, I really like it as my morning, morning, morning uh, cleanser. And because um, that way I can like wash around my eyes, whereas the ones that have little scrubby bits you don't really want to put on your eyes and um, gives me that nice calm feeling to start with my makeup for the day. Ta -da! Let the good times roll. It's um, now last year they said it was permanent and then they were like oh JK just kidding and I'm hoping they don't do that this year. They say it's permanent again. Don't if, you, if you're afraid of not getting your cleanser again I would start stocking up which I'm thinking about doing because I just tried this and it, I can get the light in here. This stuff smells amazing. To me, it smells like caramel. And it's supposed to be like a caramel popcorn smell, but I smell more caramel than anything. And it's easier to work with than Angels on Bare Skin. I like how it's creamier. It's a lot easier to blend into a cleanser that you can use. Now it is, I notice it is a little more abrasive than the Angels on Bare Skin. But surprisingly, even with my skin being sensitive, it's still alright. I don't use it twice a day, though. Like I said, I use the Aquamarina in the morning. Um, but I, if you're not sure about it, I would get a sample of it first. Because this stuff is amazing. The Rockstar Soap, which you can see I've been digging at this one, making pieces. It's like sugar and candy. And oh, it's amazing. It's creamy. I wasn't expecting it to be as creamy as it is when you wash with it. It's really nice. Silky Underwear which is the dusting powder. I didn't think I was going to like this. And because I'm not a big fan of jasmine, it does have jasmine in it. Oh, this stuff's amazing. Oh my goodness, I just can't stop. It's like vanilla and I don't know, I don't really sense the jasmine, but it does have that like sexy undertone to it. And you know, for someone who doesn't like jasmine, that's how much I have left. Yeah, so I had to go get a brand new bottle. And I've had this for maybe two months. Oops, maybe. I don't. I don't even know. Like I, I, I use it every single night. I love it. That and the vanilla puff. Oh, 
I feel like I'm an old woman because I'm like using these powders like an old woman does. Uh, this is half of it. I got the Yuzu and Coco Bubble Rune. Smell, this is so fruity. And I love the Bubble Runes because they act like a bubble bar and a bath melt in one. And the water is really soft. The scent is so nice. But what I liked it is I could easily break it in half and then have two baths with it. A Butterball. It smells like vanilla and it's supposed to have all different kinds of like body or like shea butter, cocoa butter and stuff like that in it. Mmm, I love vanilla so I can't wait to try that one. I had to get another whoop, dragon's egg. You can see it's kind of cracked so I gotta be careful with it. But I'll end up cutting it in half anyway. Creamy candy bubble bar. I can't wait to try this. It smells just like Rockstar soap. It is like seriously like a milky, sweet vanilla candy. So it's just a really quick video, um, and I will come up with different reviews of when I try some of the stuff I haven't tried yet. So, see you guys next time!